Hi everyone! Got a good one for you today. It is Me Cat Mail by Emily Gravette. And it's a really great one because it's got little bits that flap open in this book. I love a good flappy panels book. <laughs> Shall we start? Me Cat Mail by Emily Gravette. It says, hello, I hope you enjoy this book. It's about me. I like beetles on toast with insect larvae. Do you like beetles on toast? I don't either. Daydreaming and digging holes. Love from Sunny. So this is our main character, Sunny the meerkat. Oh, look, and here's some of his family says, small but strong, heroic meerkats praise family motto, stay safe, stay together. So I think meerkats usually um, stay together in big packs. I think that's what that means. This book is essential reading for any member of the mongoose family, from meerkat to marsh mongoose. So meerkats are part of the mongoose family. Um, who has ever wondered exactly who they are. Meerkat parents tonight breathed a sigh of relief after an act of supreme group bravery foiled the murderous plans of a notorious local jackal. So a jackal is the predator then. The jackal just leapt out from behind a rock, commented one shaken bystander. He was after our pups. But the cowardly jackal wasn't bargaining for what came next. Meerkats on lookout duty instantly alerted the mob, who bravely banded together and drove the petrified jackal away. As the jackal fled in fear for his life, a jubilant meerkat remarked that he was reassured to know that in times of crisis, the mob stuck to their motto, stay safe, stay together. Tonight the jackal is still at large. Meerkats are advised to remain vigilant with their families and raise the alarm at once if they notice anything suspicious. Oh, so that's told us a lot about meerkats there. They stay together. They are prey to jackal. And they are perhaps brave. So look at this one's great, great, great grandma Mabel. Great Aunt Maureen and Great Uncle John there. There's our Sonny. There's our main character. Can't wait to get to know him. Fantastic. Oh, I do like this book. This says here, this has got a dedication. It says, this book is for my beautiful friend Zoe and her itchy feet. When you've got itchy feet, it means that you can't stay in one place. So it usually means that you really like to travel. So maybe when you grow up, you will have itchy feet. And you'll go and travel all around the world. Let's start. Sunny lives in the Kalahari Desert. It is very dry and very hot. Sometimes, Sunny thinks it is too hot. Yes, I can imagine. Look at all the ants there. Oh, they're on his ice cream. Do you think maybe me and cats eat ants? Sunny comes from a large family. They work together, play together, and eat together learn together. It says, remember, a meerkat alone is on its own. Stay safe, stay together, and stay away from jackals. And sleep together. In fact, they do everything together, and they are very close. Sometimes, Sonny thinks they are too close. There he is, Sonny, being attacked by the younger ones. He's just, he's not impressed at the minute, is he? Sometimes, Sonny wishes that he could live somewhere else. So he packs his suitcase and writes his family 
a note. Can you see anything in the pictures? Look for other things in these pictures as we go through. I wonder if you can spot something else that's going on. So he's written a note to his family. It says, Dear everyone, I'm off to find somewhere perfect to live. Don't worry, Mum. I'll be staying with our mongoose relatives, so we'll be quite safe. Love from Sonny. P.S. I promise to write. Look, he's got his lifts there. Toothbrush, bucket, toothpaste. What does that say? Stamps. What will he need stamps for? To send his postcards, his letters. There, he's off. On Sunday, on Monday, Sonny visits Uncle Bob. Uncle Bob's family make him very welcome. And here's, here's his postcard look. It says, warning, mongoose of danger. Ooh. And then the African red hornbill. Maybe that's somewhere that he's, he's living there. Oh, yes. A lovely postcard. I have to turn around to read it. It says, to mum and dad, it's a lot like being at home here, except that I am the biggest. Hooray. The weather is, now it's got a sun. What do you think the weather is then? Sunny, yeah. And the food is fantastic. Lots of scorpions. Yum. Best thing is, no one has to keep lookout because there's this bird which goes squawk when there's danger. I told Uncle Bob our family motto is stay safe, stay together. He told me theirs is run and hide from Sonny. So it's addressed to the big Mia Cat mob, Sandy Burrow, the Dunes, Kalahari Desert, under the big blue sky. Uncle Bob's family made him feel very welcome. But Sonny just doesn't fit in. It's a shame. Oh, look, there he is, the biggest. Do you think he thought that was a jackal? I maybe do. Oh, here's another one. So on Tuesday, Sonny goes to stay with his cousins, Scratch and Mitch, and the rest of their family. This says, greetings from banded mongoose country. Oh my goodness, can you see anything else in there? Sonny's definitely looking behind him. Let's read this one. Dear Mum and Dad, we have been living in an old termite mound, but we are moving. Termites are tiny little ant-like creatures that usually eat um, wood, I think. There is plenty to eat. Yours ticklishly, Sonny. Why do you think he's ticklish? Maybe something to do with those termites. And this one's addressed to the meerkat mob, Cozy Burrow, the dunes, Kalahari Desert, under the big blue sky. Keep an eye on that address that he's put in. It changes. Sunny is getting itchy feet. He decides it's time to move on. You see, itchy feet can't stay in one place for too long. On Wednesday, he arrives at his cousin Edward's. This says, hello from the farm. wonder what Sonny's doing. Oh my goodness. He's gotten into the chicken house. And he's got some egg on his head. I don't know that he was meant to do that. It says, Dear Mum, Dad, Grandma and Grandma, uh, Grandma and Grandad, I'm staying on a farm. Ed's favourite food is chicken. I haven't tried it yet, but I've had plenty of eggs. Tell Mickey they're not as good as scorpions. Love from Sunny. Then this one's addressed to the Mia Cat Mob, Sandy Burrow, the Dunes, Scorpion Filled Desert, Under the Big Blue Sky. I like how it changes. Sonny is not all that sure that eggs totally agree with him. I can see that. Can you see anything else in our picture that you're spotting? Who's that? On Thursday, he had 
heads off to stay with his cousins Mildred and Frank. It says, I heart rainy days. Does look a bit rainy there. Oh, I can see something else in that picture. Oh, look. This says, Dear Mum and Dad and everyone, it is raining quite hard. Hope the weather is better at home. Lots of love from Sunny. And then he's crossed it out and put rainy <laughs> instead of sunny. P.S. Great Aunt Maureen was right. I should have packed an umbrella. And this one's addressed to the Meerkat Mob. Sandy warm burrow. The dunes. The lovely dry desert under the big yellow sun. Do you think he's maybe starting to miss home? Sonny hates getting wet, so he decides to leave. Someone else is watching it now. By Friday evening, Sonny has reached Madagascar. Ooh, this looks fun. It says Malagasy nightlife. So he's going out for a bit of a night on the town in Madagascar. Let's see what he has to say. <gasps> Can you see that shadow? What is it? It says, dear all, arrived at Auntie B's and Uncle Rob's. It is very late and very dark. I think it may be past my bedtime. Aunt B and Uncle Rob don't seem to have noticed. I'm leaving as soon as it gets light. Yawns faithfully. Wish you were here, Sonny. And then it tails off there. I think he's gone to sleep. And it's addressed to my Mia Cat Mob. Cozy burrow slash bed. The duvet. Kalahari Desert under the bedclothes. Sonny is afraid of the dark. He can't think of anything worse. So he's going to leave in the morning. He doesn't look happy, does he? Maybe he's starting to realise the things that matter. Do you think? What do you think is starting to matter most to Sonny? Until on Saturday, he arrives at Great Auntie Flo's. Says the original drive-in restaurant, dining for one in the wettest setting in the marsh. Fresh snails, frogs, earthworms, larvae, crustaceans, various small reptiles and insects. Oh, he's got his armbands on, look. And who is still following him? This one says... Dearest family, Great Aunt Flo lives on her own in a marsh. It is dark and wet. The food is disgusting, slimy, and I am lonely, cold and tired. I really, really, really wish you were here. Oh, that I was not. All my love kisses and snuggles, soggy, I mean, sunny. This is addressed just to... Meerkat family, lovely, warm, dry home. Do you think he's ready to be back home? I do too. I wonder what's going to happen with this mongoose who's chasing him now. I've seen him on every page. Sonny is beginning to worry that nowhere is right for him. But then on Sunday... Sunny arrives somewhere very hot and dry, where everyone is close. Where's he arrived? Do you recognise it? Oh, I'm home. And it is. Who is it? Where's he back at? There he is, all at home, back with his family. I wonder what's going to happen with this cheeky mongo, uh, this cheeky jackal bird. Welcome home! 
Oh, and he's having a hug with his dad. It's perfect. And then look, someone's put here. Stay safe. Stay together. Oh, well, look at that. Ah, oh, can you see? What have they done? Stay safe, stay together. They've chased that jackal away. Oh, lovely. I bet he feels so loved there with his family. And there it is. Some lovely um, items from his travels. There's the tag from his suitcase and his passport and all his travel photos. Big Red and Uncle Bob. And then there's a big news clipping that says, Sonny comes home. And not to forget, look, can you see? It says, where did he come from? It's the jackal. Yeah. Oh. And there's some other books that Emily Gravett's written. She's a great author. Wolves, Orange, Pear, Apple, Bear, Little Mouse's Big Book of Fears. That one was Meerkat Mail by Emily Brevet. I hope you enjoyed that one as much as I did.